There's no sense in saying the book doesn't say the only thing it says. They mean one sutta that says that these believers go to hell. Yeah, it says the thing you say it never says. It says it all the time. The only one who knows the, the true interpretation of those verses is Allah and those firm in knowledge. Give me a verse so that I can prove you that Quran doesn't say disbelievers, okay? You have read the wrong translation, okay? <laughs> yes. And then you said hell for disbeliever. No, there is nothing uh, in Quran that uh, sent disbelievers to hell, okay? That's the Quran. There's every surah. There's every surah except for the for two or three of the ones that are, uh, amount to only one sentence. Otherwise, every surah over and Jimmy. over again, that's all the damn book says, yeah. is believe or else you go to hell. That's it, yeah. over and no, over again. It, no, it doesn't say, okay? Give me it a single, always says that. Uh, it almost only it's a says kafir. that. It's a kafir, okay? It's a kafir. <laughs> kafir is not disbeliever, Aaron, okay? I can give you now the verses because you don't have the verses. Okay. I, uh, I don't need the verses. There's too no, many. You need, it's you have to the give, entire you have, It's the no, whole you, book. No, you have to come with the evidences, uh, Aaron. You cannot just. I say, have uh, evidence, by the way, by evidence. Evidence okay. is not evidences. It's just evidence. Okay. It's a collective. Okay. It's already in plural. Okay. And the evidence I already gave was that almost every surah says this that you say it never says. Give me one surah that says that these believers go to hell. Give me one surah. Very first one, the way that okay. it is currently written right. right now, the the, the book, the, the way that they, they put it everything out of order, the way that it is commonly published, very first surah starts out, believe the Quran or else you go to hell. Every surah thereafter, except for a couple that are only okay. you know, two or three yeah, sentences, they all say that. No, it says that, look, it's about kafir, okay, kuf. It says, chapter 16, verse 83 says, they recognize the favor of Allah, then they deny it. And most of them are kafir. This is talking about disbelievers and say most of okay. them are kafir, not all of them, okay? So there are many, many verses in Quran I can put for you that Allah is talking about those who commit kuf, okay? And committing kuf can be by Muslims, can be by non-Muslims, okay? Quran Look, chapter- I will give you, I will give you that one of the injustices of, of the many injustices in the Quran is that it says that even if you're a believer, you can still go to hell, but the unbelievers definitely go to hell. No, there's not, not an that. option okay. where, there you is can, no. where you cannot no. be, where you can be an unbeliever yes. and not go to hell. There's, okay. there's no. no option for somebody like me, for an atheist. There's no offer, there's no offer or option for the most charitable, good natured, kind hearted, person ever, if they don't believe the nonsense sold to them by Muhammad and clan, they're going to hell. And that the Quran is explicit about that repeatedly throughout. Okay. You said that Christians go to, to hell, yeah? Uh, Christians uh, say that they're going to go to hell for the unbeliever. And of no, course, the way yeah. that they have it, if you okay. if the only sin that will not be forgiven, it doesn't matter how, how evil you are. Every sin can be forgiven if you but believe and ask for forgiveness. Oh. But the only sin that will not be forgiven is the sin of disbelief. Okay. Now, Chapter Islam is slightly different yeah. Yeah. in that yeah. believers can still go to hell yeah. because they, you still have to mind your P's and Q's after that. If you're Christian, you can, you can if you love sin, be a Christian because you can sin all you want to and just be forgiven for it. But yes. the Muslims don't have that same loophole. All right, but you said that Christians go to uh, to the Muslims' hell. Chapter three, verse one hundred thirteen. Not all of them are alike. The people of the book are a per, uh, per, uh, sorry. Of the people of the book are a portion that stand for the right. They uh, rehearse the verses of God all night long, and they prostrate themselves in adoration. Next verse. They believe in God and the last day. Uh, then yes, enjoy, but then it also goes what in is and right. changes that. Sorry, it also specifies that Christians, if they believe that Jesus is the Son of God, then they are bound to the hell because God has no children, God has no partner, and to say that God has children no. or a partner is a damnable offense. No, no. So it's the Quran a, it, does say that if no, you are no. a Christian and yeah. you believe in the Trinity, okay. you're going to hell. I specified no. that already. No, Quran says. Uh, uh, chapter 3, verse 115, I was continuing. And whatever good they do will never be removed from them. And Allah is knowing all, uh, knowing of all, uh, sorry, the righteous. So, okay? so you're pointing out a contradiction then? 
Sorry, no, it's not a contradiction. It's a completion. If, okay? if the Quran says, okay, that you, if you believe in the Trinity, if you say that God has children or that God has partners or that Jesus okay. is God, if you right. say any of those things, you're going to hell. No, it's not saying. And then okay, you're I, saying that on top of that, that the, that the Quran also says that you, you don't necessarily have to go to hell. I never came across that verse, by the okay. way, and I read it yes. in its, in, in its right. entirety. So I can you're read saying, for you You're many saying verses. that people can be forgiven for yeah. being unbelievers, that you don't yeah. have to believe, no, and you can I, you I, still be in heaven. Yes. Uh, Quran says that uh, there, there is a verse in Quran that says that those who uh, fight for equality, okay, uh, it is uh, in Quran men mentioned caste, okay, if they get killed, it doesn't say Muslim, if they get killed, Mm -hmm. They they will go to heaven. Okay, so Quran separate people who do good deeds and people who do bad deeds. Yeah. Okay, so it's all about going uh, doing good deeds and uh, you know submitting to Allah's will, which is doing good deeds. So if you do good deeds and you avoid bad deeds, Allah knows that you have errors. You might not understand. Okay, so Allah is. Uh, Allah understand all these, so He's not going to punish you for. And He even except that the Quran you. says over and over and over and over and over and over and over again that yes, if you are an unbeliever, you're going to hell. No, it's another unbeliever. It's a kafir. Kafir, I mentioned for you. I said that kafir doesn't mean disbeliever. And it kafir, specifies and again and again that you have to believe in order to avoid have in order to avoid that hell. No, it, 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 it says I, it over and over. No, there's no, no there's said, no sense in saying the book doesn't say the only thing it says. Okay. It says it all the time. Every no, it you're say. telling me it doesn't say that at all. No, the thing is that you you, you have read the wrong translation, okay? <laughs> yes. Excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. Okay. I I read six translations at once. Okay. Yes. And then just to make sure that I tr that I got it correct, I then, okay. after after I wrote my my analysis, my comparison of the of the multiple translations, then okay. I had a uh, for every surah, I had a video meeting where I would I, I met with a panel of people who were all raised in Islam and who spoke Arabic and knew all of the traditions to tell me what I got right or wrong. Yeah, it says the thing you say it never says. It says it all the time. Yeah, it does. Give me you a don't, single don't verse. Don't tell me that I didn't come with evidence. I've got the whole damn book. Every surah says that. And you're saying it never says it at all. It contradicts the, itself no, I say, a lot. No, and you I can't say. use the one time it contradicts this other it thing to say that this is the one thing it means. No, it doesn't contradict. It completes the verses by other verses, okay? so you No, it doesn't. It just adds more confusion, which is another thing that the Quran got wrong. I mean, the Quran always says how clear the Quran is. And yet, I have to read six different translations because they all contradict each other. The way that it was translated in from one from Arabic into English still produces six translations that that disagree with each other. And then I still need a panel of people who were, who were, know the, the cultural traditions to tell me what the interpretations are. And then it all has to cite back to hadiths written by nobody knows who or no it does somebody who doesn't know what, what they're talking about so it doesn't matter and ultimately it's talking about the reasons you would go to a hell that does not exist there is no hell if there was a god there is no god but if there was a god there would not be a hell so the first thing you need to argue about is show me that there's a god first then prove there is no hell because that's part of the proof that there is a God, and you can't, and therefore you're out of place. You can't justify Islam after that. All right, you're okay. done. All right, uh, Aaron. Uh, first of all, depend on what is God for you. For you might be God, uh, somebody who's sitting, an entity sitting uh, up there and looking, you know, down on, on the universe. But for me. The God is the universe, and we are all inside this. So, like okay, I can so say, the giant, giant computer. Sorry. So you're saying you're a pantheist? Um, no, I'm not a pantheist. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, Muslim, and I, I believe, believe in a, God. You, you, God I, you can either adopt a deistic position, or you can you can take up the position that maybe uh, we have a consciousness to the universe, which is a more pantheistic position. But neither of those things okay. are concordant with. Islam, because Islam is tied to the Quran, and the Quran is full of nonsense. 
Okay. It says that Adam and Eve existed when we know they didn't. It says that Noah's Ark happened when we know it didn't. When it says all these animals were created when they, we know they were not. It says a whole bunch of stupid things about the sun and the moon and the cosmos, the firmament, all this kind of crap that we know never happened. It says that Solomon had genies working for him and that he had the Dr. Doolittle power of being able to talk to animals. He had a conversation with an ant. We no, know <laughs> There's full of fairy tales in here. We know these things didn't happen. No, you have but it doesn't listening. matter if there's a deistic yeah, I, God or not. Yeah, Islam okay. is still failed. Okay. Uh, Aaron, uh, Quran chapter 3 verse 7 says that those type of verses are unspecific verses of Quran. And the only one who knows the, the true interpretation of those verses is Allah and those firm in knowledge. But those okay. whose heart is So you're saying that God only knows... And, and there those, is no God, no, which no, means no. nobody knows. No. Our, listen to me. I said, Allah says, only God, only Allah and those firm in knowledge. Okay? So there are people who know, but it says that those whose heart is corrupted, they try to interpret it in a way suitable for their agenda. So you yep. go So you got the poisoning listen, of the well thing going on so, there. So you are going to, uh, you listen to some people like this APs, uh, you know, he just changed everything the way he wants, okay? And so these type of verses, they need, uh, you know, people who have the right knowledge to explain it, you know, correctly, that uh, Solomon didn't talk to aunts and so on. So that's a, a different, you know, uh, a long uh, discussion. But you said about this believer, Give me a verse so that I can prove you that Quran doesn't say disbelievers. Okay, Quran says kufar. Yeah, and, over and over and over again, it, okay. it says so, that you have, you must believe, in order to save yourself from the hell. It doesn't just say no, it kafirs. Say. But I'm not, yeah. I'm not going to argue the scripture. Okay. We're arguing, we're arguing that whether it, the whole, the collection of all of that, which is all full of nonsense, okay. is that collection true? It doesn't matter if there's a god or not. Okay. It really doesn't. If yes. there is a God, and there isn't, but let's let's pretend for a moment there is. If there is a God, there still is no hell, and Islam is still false. Why? Uh, why? If uh, uh, God uh, punish Adolf Hitler, do you think what? that it is just that because God is just? Okay, God, but God is, is not just, just in the Quran. No, 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 no. That, no, listen. No, God, God judge in in both the Bible and the Quran. God judges people. Not for the actual, well, in the Quran, there. I'll give you this. The Quran actually does judge people over evil actions where the Bible does not. Okay. But, it, but what the Quran more likely judges for is belief. It really no, does. It so you, you have to believe a certain way or else you're out. No, this is, this is, the, way, this is the way you have been, you know, uh, persuaded by somebody, okay? But it is not. I read is, the Quran. No. No, Quran is different uh, yes. versions of it. Okay, yes. It All wasn't right. somebody else who who misled me. It was the Quran said that. Okay, I read for you several verses, and I can read. Yeah, you read for me a couple it. of contradictions. Yes, yes, yes. And then you Con pretended not a that it didn't say the thing that it no, says all the way throughout. No, it, it is not a contradiction. It's a completion. Okay, and I. It's uh, not a completion if it says yes. if it says one thing and then says the exact opposite thing later. No, it it doesn't say uh, opposite. It says that. Those yes, who do does. good deeds, those who do good deeds, they will enter heaven. I can read for you many. Yeah, it, I, I know it does say that those who do good deeds, but it, but almost good. almost consistently, I've noticed that the the Quran constantly conflates doing good with mm -hmm. believing, and it says it even specifies a few times that that not believing is doing evil. It conflates those things, no, and it's very okay. explicit about it. Okay. It doesn't say believing, it says to be being mu'min. It's about mu'minun, okay? And mu'minun doesn't mean uh, believers, it means those who are saved, okay? Those who do not harm people, okay? So this is uh, all but about... You still have to believe. Okay, no, it's... And, and I say, it, it does say over and over and over Quran again said, yes. okay, that believing say, is doing good. That believing okay. means doing good, right. and doing good means believing. It does. No. Quran I've, made, says that, I've made many, many notes about that in my upcoming book. Okay, okay. Quran says that those who uh, in the hell, those who get punished, okay, when they see the punishment, they say, oh, Lord, send us back so that we do good deeds. 
they don't say send us back back so that we believe. They say send us back so that we do good deeds. So it's about all, and I can read for you many verses. This all about. Yeah, and I can read for me. Deeds. I can read for you many verses that say what I say too, because okay, it does say what you say. It doesn't say. Okay.